In this video, we are going to see the difference between Kafka streams and Spark structured streaming. Kafka streams is a client library for building applications and microservices. It is used to process records from topics in Kafka. We can use Kafka streams to process data in real time with resilient stream processing transformations and to perform stateful stream processing. Kafka streaming is part of Kafka ecosystem. On the other hand, Spark Structured Streaming is a newer generation 2 streaming library built on Spark SQL. It is also used to process streaming data in the Spark ecosystem. We can write custom streaming computations in the same way as Spark SQL. Under the hood, Structured Streaming applies these custom queries to the real-time continuous streaming data. Kafka Stream is part of the Kafka ecosystem. The Kafka Streams API interacts with the Kafka cluster, but it does not run directly on top of it. Since Kafka Streams is a Java client library, hence wherever Java is supported, we can use it. Spark Structured Streaming belongs and runs as part of the Spark ecosystem or cluster. The core abstractions of Kafka Streams are Keystream, Ktable, and Global Ktable. Similarly, datasets and data frame are core abstractions of structured stream. Kafka Streams is event-driven based, whereas structured streaming works both on micro batch as well as event-driven model. It comes with two stream execution engines for executing streaming queries. Micro batch execution for micro batch stream processing, continuous execution for continuous stream processing. Kafka Streaming currently supports Scala and Java programming language. We can use KSQL as a query language. Spark Structured Streaming supports Scala, Java, Python, and R programming. And we can use Spark SQL as a query language. Both Kafka Streams and Structured Streaming supports data processing based on event time, ingestion time, and processing time. In Kafka Streams, there is no master-slave architecture. Kafka Streams uses the concept of stream partitions and stream tasks as logical units of its parallelism model. Also, it allows the user to configure number of threads which the library can use to parallelize processing within an application instance. Spark Structured Streaming works in master-slave architecture. The master assigns the task to workers to execute. You can use options of standalone cluster or use external cluster managers. Kafka Streams does not exactly have checkpointing. However, it does the same somewhat differently. It basically uses Kafka for fault tolerance. On the other hand, Spark Structured Streaming checkpointing is available and it is provisioned for add trigger, asynchronous, and incremental options. In Kafka Streams state store can be in memory, rocks db database, or you can even do custom implementation. In Structured Streaming, it was in memory hash map by default, but now RocksDB database state store is also provisioned. For Kafka streams, data source is from Kafka itself through Kafka topics and streams. Whereas for structured streaming, data sources can be files of various formats like Parquet, ORC, JSON, etc. Also, apart from that, we can also use Kafka, TCP sockets, etc. As data sources. Kafka Streams supports tumbling and hopping time windows. Also, data retention can be used for handling late data. Structured Streaming also supports tumbling and hopping time windows, whereas watermarking is used for handling data which comes late. Both Kafka Streams and 
structured streaming supports stream static joints as well as stream stream joints.